Hi there, it's Hillary and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a 2022 year in review. So these are always really fun to do to kind of reflect on the year that has passed. And I did actually do one of these back in 2020. So I will have that linked down below if you want to see my 2020 year in review. And then I made a whole blog post roundup that has month by month everything I'm going to talk about. Kind of hard to see, but <laughs> I'll have links to everything I talk about in that blog post. So that's where it will all be. So it's just really easy for you to find and click and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the first chunk of this video talking about creative faith, the highs and the lows, what happened in creative faith in 2022. And then the second half of the video, I'm going to talk about my personal life and work and our marriage and our home and um, our jobs and a lot happened in 2022. So I'm excited to share about that as well. So that'll be the second half of the video. But I think it's really important as one year comes to a close and a new year begins to take time to reflect. And we are so prone to forgetting things. We are just like the Israelites in the Bible. <laughs> and God wants us to remember. Remember his faithfulness, remember his goodness, remember all the many ways that he has blessed us. And so I created a few resources. The first thing is these Year to Shine journals. There are a few different sizes and they're available on Amazon. And I think I'll probably end this video sharing a flip through of what the inside of this looks like um, and kind of what I, how I journaled through this. So that I'll, I'll put at the end. And it's not too late to reflect and pray on what happened in the year that has just closed. So never too late to pick this up. There's also a coordinating printable that you can get in my Etsy shop that I'll link down below too. And then I have two YouTube videos. One of them is about this five page free printable on my blog, which I'll link down below. It is three days of prayer for 2023 with hourly prayer prompts. And then there are a few pages with some spots to reflect on your year. So there's one that has all the months. You can fill this out, writing out highlights and things that happened. And then there's also this page that has it by different different kind of life categories. So you can use that to reflect on your year. And so again, this is totally free on my blog, which I am excited about. So I have a video, a YouTube video about that. And then I have a YouTube video walking through kind of my steps and process. So I'll have all of those awesome resources linked in the description box below. All right, so let's jump into the first part of the video where I share a little bit about creative faith, about the highs and the lows, and what happened in creative faith in 2022. So at the very end of 2021, I um, learned how to create my first online course, which is a gratitude journaling online course. And then in 2022, I launched some new online courses and I love getting to teach. I studied to be a teacher and so that is something that I really love to do. So being able to teach online is such a blessing and a privilege. And so in January, I launched uh, my second course, which is a wellness journaling and planning online course. And that really propelled me into this wellness journey in 2022. So that was really fun to launch. And so many of you joined us for that online course. Hopefully you, if you haven't, it's not too late to join <laughs> and work through those lessons. But that was a really great way to kick off the year with this awesome course launch. And then I also started a new series 
called the Produce in Me Fruit of the Spirit Scripture Writing Collection. And unfortunately, I didn't get very far in it <laughs> in creating it in 2022. So I'm hoping to work on that and finish it this year. Um, something you might not know about me is that I, it's never been like diagnosed, but I'm, I have number dyslexia. It doesn't happen with me with words, but it happens with me with numbers that I flip them around back and forth and upside down. <laughs> this year I was talking with someone from church and I said something was happening on February 29th and she was like, is it a leap year? <laughs> but I really meant February 26th and I, I don't know, the numbers just get mixed up in my mind. So creating script writing plans that are really heavy with like verses and numbers and, you know, doing like a physical journal and a printable and verse cards. There's lots of opportunity for numbers to get mixed up. And so I started that and didn't quite finish it. Um, but again, I'm hoping this year to do that because I love scripture writing and I just think that is such going to be such a powerful collection once it's done. So then February creative faith wise, I did the free pray for your husband challenge. That's something I love to do around Valentine's day and really encourage women to pray for their spouses. And then in February, I also launched the Saved by Grace Lent Scripture Writing Collection, this beautiful floral collection of verses all about God's amazing grace. And I love that collection and so did you guys. And I was really pleased with how that turned out. And then in May, I launched my first physical kit of the year. So a little different from years past. Normally I was launching a kit, you know, kind of every month or every other month. And in 2022, that didn't happen. I launched my first kit in May and it is the pausing for his peace kit. I love that kit. It's all about slowing down and resting. It's kind of the sequel to my rest in him kit. And I was just really excited about that and launching that in May. May is also National Day of Prayer. The first Thursday in May is always National Day of Prayer. I love prayer journaling. And so I did a really fun free printable for that. Now in June, so kind of 2022, I tried a bunch of new things for Creative Faith and some of them worked, some of them are maybe not as successful financially, but I learned so much and that is just as important as selling things, I think. <laughs> um, but in June, I created and launched my very first digital planner. I bought an online course that walks you through how to make a digital planner. And that was super fun. I have lots of things up my sleeves for this year, for 2023 with digital planners and journals. I still prefer paper, paper products. I still love my paper planners the best, but um, when, you know, we're on vacation or when we're gone, when I, you know, forget my planner at home, I love had the portability of having a digital planner and I, yeah, again, just have some neat ideas for this new year. So that was really, really fun. Um, in the summer, I launched my meal menu planners and that was really neat. I've been loving using those. And then in August, I launched my most popular printable of the year, and that is my what to do when you don't know what to do printable. This was um, kind of spurred on by a conversation I had with someone in college asking me for advice. And it was interesting because she was kind of at this crossroads in her life, and I was also at a crossroads in August. Our rent increased in our apartment very dramatically, and we had these kind of crossroads crossroads in front of us wondering what to do next and we ended up buying a house um, but God used that printable to teach and encourage other people in my life and also teach and encourage me. In August, I also launched my Sunshine and Jesus Time Devotion Kit so that was a really fun summer kit. Um, and 
that was exciting. But something really horrible happened with Creative Faith in August, and that is my external drive where I had all of my stuff for Creative Faith failed. It broke, and I hadn't backed it up since January. I still need to send it in to see if anything can be recovered, but that was heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking. <laughs> so that was definitely a low moment of creative faith in 2022. In September, I launched another physical kit. I launched my fall floral gratitude and prayer journal. And then in October, I launched my Psalms of Thanksgiving scripture writing kit. So those were two beautiful fall kits. And I love the fall season. I love autumn. And I especially loved the the Psalms of Thanksgiving scripture writing kit. I managed to finish my own. Um, which is kind of a miracle. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for me to complete the kits that I put together. Um, but that one, I don't know, I just, it really spoke to my heart and encouraged me. It was a very simple plan to read through these Psalms. And even while we were moving in the midst of moving and packing and getting settled here at the house, I still completed it and I have a full video flipping through that journal that I'll link down below, but that is just such a sweet, sweet project. And in October, I also launched another online course, the four P's of productive planning online course. And that was really neat. I also in October, September, October was sharing about the online course platform that I use called Teachery. And that was like really stepping outside of my comfort zone, sharing a bit more about the business side of things here. Um, but, and no one signed up for Teachery using my link, but hopefully it maybe gave some of you something to think about of how you can use your knowledge that God has gifted you with to share with the world and encourage other women, whether it's in motherhood or fitness or Bible study or art journaling or cooking or organizing. God has blessed you with a gift and I hope and pray that you will share it with the world. So um, that was something kind of new and different for me and I really loved getting to share about more about business. And then in November, I have the Year to Shine journal launch. This is really fun. I'm really, really excited about these and I loved using my own. Again, I'll have a flip through of this at the end. And then I also launched the Creative Faith Christmas Club, which was also something new. I used the online course platform that I have and I created a whole digital advent calendar. And that was really cool. It was a daily project where I would post a video or a printable, either a video from me or a video from someone else. There were journaling prompts. I made another digital journal to go along with that as well as a physical journal. And that was just a really fun project. I did my first ever Zoom call with the Creative Faith community. There were, I think, three different Zoom calls I did. And that was cool to get to see some of your beautiful faces in person. So that was a really fun way to kind of end the year. Um, we also in this, at the end of November launched the Birth of Jesus scripture writing kit as well as new creative faith planners. And another new thing I did was I launched my first ever digital magazine. I'm working on a new one for January. So be sure you are subscribed to the creative faith email newsletter family. Be a part of that. Join that because that's where I'll send out the next free planner. So for creative faith wise, I tried lots of new things in 2022. Um, uh, kind of a downside is definitely 
product did not get out into as many hands as I wanted it to. I still have the Christmas kit, the fall kit, and the summer kit. I still have it sitting in my closet. So that was kind of disappointing to not sell all of those. I think kind of as the year came to a close, a lot of people held a little more tightly to their finances as the economy really changed. And while I understand that, it was also kind of sad. So anyways, that was kind of just an interesting reflection on the year. Also, I loved doing the Creative Faith Christmas Club and doing this, creating this digital advent calendar. I'm really proud of how it turned out and I loved being able to connect with you on Zoom, but it did really burn me out at the end of 2022 and even now into <laughs> midway through January. I'm really burnt out and really tired <laughs> and so it's just good for me to kind of assess, okay, what went well, what didn't and really trying to kind of take a few steps back. I ended 2022 off of Instagram and I'm still pretty much off of it. I signed in once um, just to check on something because I got a weird email but other than that I haven't been on the creative faith Instagram and that one time I did log in oh my gosh it filled me with a lot of anxiety and I never want that to be the case with things that I am doing and creating so anyways just me processing and assessing things so let's see so kind of my summary on the blog post, I said it was a challenging year for Creative Faith & Co. I tried creating new things which helped push and stretch me. And I said God is still using this Creative Faith & Co. community, company, and ministry to touch people's lives. And for that, I'm forever grateful. So um, I always want to kind of keep that in mind. So it was a year of trying new things. It was a year of definitely not as many sales as I would have hoped I would. I ho always hope that, you know, my products and things get into people's hands because I feel like the Lord kind of inspires me to do these different things and I don't know. So lots of things processing. And so those were kind of the highs and lows of 2022 creative faith wise. So now let's switch gears and talk about our personal lives, my, my life. Well, 2022 was a year of a lot of change for me personally. So, um, in January, I, so I used to work full time at my church doing youth ministry and communications and a lot of children's ministry. And once my husband and I got married, so we got married in 2020 and he couldn't work yet because of immigration. And then in 2021, we never did a 2021 year in review, but 2021 was really hard. He, we finally, he finally got his green card and started working, but I was working Sunday through Thursday, Friday, and he was working Monday through Friday. So we only had Saturday together and his job, he was working like 60, 65 hours a week. And so he's really physically exhausted and me working full time. And anyways, it was just really hard. So kind of at the end of 2021, we were like, we need to make a change. And so what we decided is um, for me to work part-time at the church. So I work now Monday through Thursdays um, and I am doing the communications part only. So, well, I'm still doing a lot of the other stuff, just not getting paid for it, <laughs> which is a whole other side, side story. Um, I still need to work on setting some boundaries, but anyway, so there was a big change in my job. So at the end of January, I stopped working full-time at the church and that was, has been just interesting. Um, but what it kind of opened up the opportunity for was more time for us to spend together as a couple. We did a lot of traveling in 2022 that I hadn't gotten to do, well, because of COVID, but also because of immigration stuff and just my work schedule, you know, not working working on a Sunday at a church made it hard to do things with, with my family. So 
throughout the year, we did a lot of fun trips. So in January, we went to Central Oregon last year, which was fun. Um, in February, we went to the beach for our second anniversary. In March, we took our first big trip. We went to Maui with my parents and my sister and her husband, which was such a blessing, such a blast. And then in April, we went back to the Dominican Republic to visit my husband's family for the first time since December of 2019. So now that I, you know, don't really work on Sundays, I were able to do so many beautiful trips. And I do think going to church is important. I think church is super important, but it was also just really sweet to be able to rest and get away and, and be together as, as a family. So that was kind of some highlights of the year. Also in July, we went tent camping at Fort Stevens and with my family again, my parents and my sister and her husband, and that was an absolute blast. I hadn't been camping since probably middle school and it was so neat to just be out in nature and to get to explore, get to sleep in a tent, have a campfire. That was really, really neat. So then we get to August and August I feel like is where kind of things really took a turn. Um, my husband got a promotion, which is a blessing, but also was really kind of challenging for, for our family. It's a lot more responsibility for him at work and kind of just challenging to navigate all of that and really having to lean on the Lord for wisdom and prayer. And then, like I mentioned, August was when we started house hunting, which was a massive surprise for, for our lives. We weren't expecting to buy a house this year. And again, it's like a blessing, but also a lot of work and responsibility. Um, a lot, you know, our financial, uh, financial situation is way different now and yeah so at the end of October we closed on our house in November we moved and also in November we got rid of my car and got a new car well a new to us car <laughs> and so that was a lot of change and stress as well and yeah, so also throughout the year, I was focusing a lot on my health and my wellness. About August, I really stopped working out, but I still am reading food labels, making sure there's, you know, no funky oils in our foods. I got rid of a lot of toxins in our house, so getting rid of perfumes and smelly candles and plastics and cooking on ceramic or stainless steel now. And um, so that has been a really big part of 2022 as well, was working on my wellness journey. And although, you know, I thought there would be kind of this massive weight loss transformation and that didn't happen, I do know I am healthier than I was at the beginning of 2022. And I am gonna do like a whole separate video, I think soon kind of about my wellness journey. Um, but here's what I wrote for my summary. So I said, in summary, 2022 was a year, a massive change for my husband and I in regard to our job and living situations, right? So my job changed, his job changed, our living situation changed. And then I said it was a year full of fun travel adventures, and it was a year of investing in my wellness, transforming into a healthier version of me. So that's kind of just a neat little summary to think about the year, and I hope this gave you just some things to think about in your life too. I'd love for you to comment below what were some highlights of 2022 for you? Where did you see God's hand? We saw his hand just answering prayers. We saw his provision. We saw just him opening the doors that he wanted us to walk through. And I'm so thankful for that. So I'm going to end this video by flipping it around and doing a very quick flip through of my year to shine journal. So you guys can kind of see what, what I did and how I was reflecting on the year. 
All right, I didn't do all the pages, but I did do a lot of the pages. I took this with us um, for a weekend trip over New Year's to Central Oregon, and it was fun. I just brought one project to work on, and it was this one, and so that was kind of neat to really focus on one thing. So the front half is reflecting on the year that was ending. And so I wrote just lots of prayers, thinking about, you know, what it got answered, what prayers it got answered, how it got provide. I printed off a lot of pictures also throughout here, which was fun. Thinking about some highlights from the year. Oh, I ended up tallying Creative Faith projects. I made 38 new printables, five new kits, three new online courses, and 40 journals and planners added to Amazon. That is crazy, but exciting. <laughs> Reflecting on my word from 2022. What are my words? Um, I wrote a letter to myself. Dear Hillary, 2022 is going to be a challenging year. <laughs> what I wish I would have known. Who cheered me on? My sweet husband. Thinking about the favorite songs from the year. We love music, and God really uses music to encourage us. Some favorite Bible verses from the year. Making a gratitude list. And again, I didn't totally finish it, but that is okay. A big surprise with our house. And some of the places we traveled little currently favorites page from the year. I love this one, favorite memories. Lots of neat moments. And then the second half of the year is praying and planning and reflecting and dreaming for the new year ahead. And so that was really nice to take some time to think about what is to come, what I'm excited about and dreaming. And again, I didn't fill out all of the pages, but I did fill out a lot of pages. And it's really fun to look back on this. It'll be neat, especially to look back at the end of 2022 and kind of see what, what, what about all of this ended up happening. And I definitely plan to get another one of these journals and use it for the end of, of this year, 2023. Here were kind of some goals that I boiled down. I shared a little graphic on the Creative Faith Facebook page. It said, um, 2023 goals for everyone, not just me. <laughs> Read more of the Bible, get in God's word, pray without ceasing, be bold and share the gospel, love God and my neighbor, give thanks all. So those can be your goals for the year too. I really loved reading about Anna in Luke 2 and having her kind of be my role model for the year. Thinking about habits and goals and working on reading the whole Bible, slowing down and working on investing in my health and wellness. And yeah, I didn't end up finishing quite yet. So that is the flip through of the year to shine journal. So again, comment below what were some wins, some challenges from 2022. Do some reflecting in the comments and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any upcoming Creative Faith videos and I will see you next time.